I know I took way too long to do this video. Um, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna try to do it quick so I'm not like taking forever. Um, if you're wondering, I do have a tutorial for this look. It's either gonna be on before or after this um, Inglot review swatch video. So there should be a link below on the description box or I'll put it over here somewhere so you guys can um, click that and watch the tutorial after the video, whatever. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk to you about, um, or the first thing I'm gonna show you is how it came to me. Um, so I brought the pa I, blah, 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 blah. I bought the palette and um, you know it comes separately if you buy the palette and then the eyeshadows come in a package like this for packaging um, yeah so you can just use this or if you're buying them in single form they will come in um, you know the regular little compact like this is a Mac but um, a little compact like this so um, they have the ones that are circles and then the ones that are square and that's the one I got. They call it um, a freedom system. And what it is is um, the eyeshadows that come in pan form like this and then the palettes, um, the empty palettes. Um, they're all magnetic and um, the palette sizes, they have one that just has three which is one of the ones I have and then they have the one with the five shadows and then they have one with ten which would be you know look like that and stuff and this is a 20 and um, they just slide right off the top is magnetic so it slides right off and then the eyeshadow comes along with it no it doesn't it just came like that. <laughs> um, yeah so it's magnetic so it just like stuck on there but um yeah so um oh actually let me just use this eyeshadow so I can show you um eh. sorry okay so it comes um with magnetics magnetic magnetic here I really can't talk oh my god magnetic this is the thickness of them so you can see you're getting a lot of product for um, what you pay for. Believe it or not, all these shadows, I only pay, paid $4.50 for them because now, um, let me just get into prices real quick. Okay, so this palette, the 20 palette, right, um, cost me 25 bucks, the 20 palette. And then um, they discounted me because I bought the shadows to go in the palette. Now, the shadows themselves are $7, but because um, I bought the palette with it and I bought more than 10, it goes like um, if you buy more than three shadows, it's a certain, it just, you know, in decreases um, the amount that you pay if you're buying the palette. Or, you know, by itself. Like, if you buy more than three shadows, I think it's like, you're only paying $5 a shadow or something like that. So, obviously, the first time I got 15 eyeshadows. So, they decrease the price of, you know, they get me like a $20 discount. And I only paid $5 for the palette because I got so many shadows. And, um, yeah, the shadows came up to $4.50 for each shadow um, you don't have to you know put a code or anything when you're buying on their site um, it automatically calculates and shows you 
um, on the checkout page or in your shopping list when you do do that. So as far as the shadow goes, like I said, they're pretty big. Um, I'll show you them in comparison to a MAC shadow. Um, so yeah. So MAC shadow, you're getting 1.35 grams and this you are getting 2.3 grams, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, when you get it in there, they will go in and will not come out, like, unless you have like a magnet or something that can try to take it off out of there, it's gonna be a pain in the arse. But um, what I had to use was, you can either use like a pin or um, uh, what you call it, a knife or anything like that to try to take it up. I really don't recommend that because I made a dent on one of my shadows. It's not there anymore because I use them. But yeah, I made a dent on the shadows and that was not fun. So um, if you want, you can see it's really, really tiny right there. So I don't know what else you can use to pick that up aside from like a pointy knife or you know a pin or something um yeah so I really recommend when you do get the shadows you either have the number on here so don't trash this um the number on here so before I put them in the palette what I did was um at Walmart they have these little um sticky finger majigs and um, I just wrote on there what color the shadow is like this one says matte pale pink number 352 and I know that it's this one right here and I just kind of lined them up with the numbers so you know it flips like this and then when I flip it over I know um, you know what it belongs to and plus I put the name so um, so I don't get that wrong um, the same with the three one as far as like traveling and stuff I don't have a palette this size to show you but um, they actually see this one's not gonna stick that well but they actually you can actually stack them on top of each other which makes it so awesome and so convenient for makeup artists and stuff like that um, when you're traveling with them as well. And these magnets are really good. You can tell they won't come off unless you, you know, use a magnet or just, you know, take them off, you know, on your own. I'm going to have pictures of swatches at the end and I'll have pictures them of them also on my Facebook and I'll put the link below but um, yeah th oh also they have as you can tell they have like matte shadows they have um, colors with sparkles you can really see that on the light oh they're just so freaking gorgeous and coming from a person that doesn't really like shimmer, because I really don't, um, I prefer matte shadows, these are awesome because the glitters, like, I'm just going to swatch one for you. Although they do show up, it's not as glittery um, as you would think on the lid. And the cool thing about that is... Um, every glitter has a different color, like I have silver gl 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 silver glitters, blue glitters, um, you know, uh, gold glitters, like this one has gold in it, I don't know if you could see that. This one right here, this pale pink one is 352, 360, 501, 3, or 460. And then 61, this one right here is 59. The one next to that right here is 384, 56, 53, 
And then this rain right here is 465. The one below that, this beautiful orange one, is 51. 379. 60. 366, which is like a dark coral color. This green right here, which is like a beautiful lime green with uh, silver glitters in it is 477 this one right here it's a matte gray color or a charcoal color this is 376 72 70 504 and 372 so um yeah gorgeous 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 colors um let me show you let me show you in this one this one is 378 390 and 361 let me just swatch a few more to show you guys um this purple color here gorgeous this dark coral ah it's light dark coral color um let me see let me see this one right here in the middle i make it my um transitioning color it's like a nude color look at that that's like crazy pigmented I love these shadows they um, blend extremely well um, they're super creamy and um, as you can see they're extremely pigmented I don't know what else to tell you guys about these um if you have any more questions or anything please leave it on the bottom again i'm going to leave all the information you guys want on the bottom and um pricing and all that and um yeah so i i know i keep saying um 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 um, um in this video no i am i know i will notice it when i'm editing the video but whatever i'm gonna have the pictures at the end of the video and yeah and on my facebook so check it out comment rate subscribe um click here to watch this tutorial and i will see you guys later bye